Well, it's a usual cold, wet December day, and uh, do you know what? I thought it was a good time to have a look back of the previous year of 2020. Um, so this is an annual review video, if you like. I don't know whether I've done one completely like this before, where I've gone and picked out clips from different videos. But anyway, um, I've started looking at all my videos from last year, or this year, 2020, and it's easy for me to forget what I do, so God knows how lot you remember. Um, so I, I sort of looked at the videos and thought, do you know what, I can't cover the whole year, it's just mad, because there's so much footage I've got. So what I've done, I've just picked out a few bits and pieces. Uh, some of them might be highlights to you, some of them might, you might think there's other videos you preferred, but um, what I've done is just picked a few bits and pieces out. Uh, it's been a bonkers year for everyone, hasn't it? I mean, we've had uh, a, a pretty normal year in many ways because the farming just carries on the same. But what has been nice, particularly for me, was having the children at home. So that was a real bonus, uh, from, not from a schooling point of view, but from the fact that it was nice company to have. But anyway, I've picked out a few videos. You can sit back and sit here and watch them. Hopefully you'll enjoy a few clips and pieces of what we've been up to in the last year. Okay, so sit back, 2020 highlights. Okay, so we started really the year in a kind of thing that's about to kick off again, I think, uh, for January, a vegan thing. So I actually, hard to believe it now, I actually sampled loads of vegan food. Um, can't say it was my best, uh, best experience in my life, but here's a little clip of me and Harry just sampling a pea burger. A replacement for a beef burger. In the replacement for a beef burger, I can tell you that now. Okay, so vegan burger, pea burger. Mmm. Right. Oh, I've got my tears here, I've got the tears. Right. Well, it's got a sort of pinky bit in the middle, which I guess is all right. I've had some tears. Very, very oily what came out of there. What do you reckon to that? It still smells disgusting. It still smells disgusting. I'm not even... Right. Mine's going to be the tiny, tiny, tiny Sorry, bit. You know, yeah, it, from a distance tiny, it looks like a funny tiny. burger, really. You want to try a bit? Let's see. Are we it going for it? Oh, it smells horrible. You know, a lot of things I'm about over. eating isn't just the taste, it's the smell. Everything right, after three. Everything's going to be okay. After three then, Harry. One. You know, I don't think it is. Two, okay. three. Oh. Mmm. Harry's gone off because Big Brother Jack's just arrived. Oh, Jack, what have you got there? Some pan of sugar. Come in here quick and relieve us from this awful vegan food. No. Quick, bring the. Jack, come on screen. For tomorrow morning. Oh, he's got an aftertaste. Way! Oh, these are for tomorrow morning. All right. But a bit more, and thank God for we that. We need one more. Right, Come anyway, on. this is turning into shut the door, please. Don't milk chocolate. Right, don't milk chocolate. Shut the door, please. No, no, no. Let all heat out. No, no, no. Right, thank goodness. No, he's told me to talk Do you want to try it? You try a bit. Try a bit. Try a bit. Go in, Cardiff on. today. We have them sunny. sunny. Harry, Jack's going to try it. We get Jack to review it. He's just come back from football. I'm very hungry as well. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think he's that angry. Come back and give it. Come on, I need you to give a review. They can't see you off camera, Jack. Come back, quick. Quick, come here. I'll put you some tears. Quick, 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 quick. quick. Come and tell everyone. Honestly, give it. Look at the screen. Half a mark out of ten. I got some um, oh, unicorn no. tears. I could drink it all down. That's unicorn more. tears. You kind of get any that. idea now. We, we ain't going to convert to veganism, are we? That's, and that was unplanned. He didn't. I didn't know. The thing is, Jack's right. not been in any of the videos, pretty much. So there's a little video I've forgotten about. I went around to see a chap who was 86 called Dave Nibbler, and I had a sit down. I did a two-part video with him talking about life growing up in the village, and his experiences in the countryside, and uh, also a bit of his wartime experience. And here's a little clip from one of the videos, just him talking about when he was walking down the road with my dad and some bullets started coming down. But they, um, when Bill and I was going home, of course there was a shop, um, Frankie Ship's shop, 
domed up street. Right. And uh, there was a big, he was on a big sort of doorway. Hmm. And as we were going home, we heard this dap, 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 and the bullets was coming up the road. So Bill and I. What, were you joking? I haven't heard this story no. before. We what, they were, were shooting, we but the were bullets running, were going up the road? We were running the bullets. Where well, the fighter was after them, though. After the German plane, though. They were shooting at you guys walking uh, up the well, road. Well, it's the, 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 the fighter, you know, the Spitfire, was yeah. higher than the. What was it? And he was chewing. Oh, down. shooting down the bullets were ricocheting off on the road. Yeah. Jesus. And you were there when that happened? We were coming home from school. Oh, my God. And we. We run in the shop doorway out the way. Good job we did. That's a good job you did. That's unbelievable. Isn't it? I mean, yeah. God, the generation, your generation, grew up with some stuff that no one else can hardly believe. Yeah. In that I never knew that story before. So I think this video is from about March time. Now we just entered into a, a sort of lockdown time, or, or uh, a time when at least when everyone was thinking of lockdown. Uh, and I, we were struggling because yeah, it was lockdown because people weren't coming to work for us and. Um, Luckily my neighbour got his vintage Nuffield out and he stepped in and helped us, which was really appreciated. And he did all the chain iron on all the fields, which was amazing. Look at this, brilliant, it's the Nuffield, look. Fantastic. So you can see the muck's a bit capped on here. So basically he's breaking that up with those chain arrows. What a lovely tractor that is. What a lovely, lovely little tractor that is. Good old Neil. Uh -huh. Well, as you know, we're a bit down on staff at the moment because of what's going on. Um, and I really appreciate someone stepping in just doing this for us. So, yeah. It just takes a bit of straight, I mean, you know, this was on the list of jobs to do. Me to come out and chain out of this. It's one less thing I've got to think about. And uh, it needed doing, and fair play, Neil's up for it with his classic. Um, and he's using, using uh, I think he's going to use our roller later as well. Um, but it's going well. I tell you what, it, it's a perfect tractor for this. And I think that's the thing. If you've got a vintage tractor, it's really nice to um, actually get out and use it for something rather than it just being a showpiece. So he's coming back up. Can you see him behind me? There he is. Let's have a look. We'll have a closer look. I'm trying to not get too close, but I don't think we're too bad on the social distancing on here. Look at this beaut. beauty. You don't see many of these. I'm not sure how many horsepower that is, but it's going so well. Lovely. And we've got the muck in the back there. Look at that, breaking it down. So lockdown uh, finished in April, I think, the first lockdown. It's hard to remember now, isn't it? Uh, but the lockdown for our cows finished then as well. And we let the cows out on the first week in April, I think. And here's a little clip of them just going out. And uh, I'm sure it was just like everyone else when uh, lockdown finished. Woohoo! Party on! Cows went out. People went out.
16. Anyway, we're going to have our breakfast now, but do you enjoy uh, that? Yes. And some benefits yes, of being yes, off yes, school, yes, isn't yes, there? Yes, 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 yes. Say bye. I hope we have to see this, I suppose. Bye bye. Um, so during that time it was a bit difficult for everyone wasn't it um, and uh, the chap who was working for our contractor had actually been furloughed and he was uh, doing the cultivating on our maize field you can see him here just uh, doing a bit of cultivating and at the same time I think I, I whacked on my Union Jack jacket to just say thank you to everyone here he is again uh, final run and I better crack on I think that's probably only about two or three miles per hour. I'm not sure how fast that is, but you need to go quite slow. It's not a race. And the ploughing is charged per acre, but not by hour. So I imagine it'd be the same with this. So, you know, it's just a case of getting on with it. Here we are. The TZ, New Holland TZ. Everyone likes the tractors. It's a lovely, lovely tractor. You might have seen Ed, he brought some bales over for a while ago. That's Ed's dad on there. Ed's dad, hello Ed's dad. I think he's furloughed at the moment and he's doing some farm work. You're pretty well self-isolated in that cab, aren't you? That's not an issue really. So, uh, and I think like many an active person, they don't like to be sat around at home. I don't want to be sat around at home. Five weeks, somebody, actually, out of interest, how are you all doing on the old, uh, furloughed scheme. Are any of you furloughed or are you, um, you know, I'll walk down this way, you see a tractor behind me. Are you furloughed? Are you self-employed and not working? Getting a grant maybe? Are you carrying on working? Are you frontline staff in the NHS? If you are, well done, thank you. Uh, you can write a comment below actually, I'd be interested to know what your experience of lockdown is. As you can see from this, my lockdown, well there isn't one, and uh, the contractors are the same, they'll be carrying on. We'll all be carrying on. Deep Britain farming, anyway. Okay, guys, that's it. I'm going to head off and leave this. We might catch up the drilling if I'm around for that. Um, but in the meantime, there we go. Okay, so this is just a really short message to say thank you to all the British public who have been supporting the UK farming industry in this difficult time. Um, really great if you buy British product. We support you by producing it. So thank you very much to everyone who makes the effort of buying it. So cheers to the great British public. Keep supporting British farming and we'll support you guys. So we're into May time now. I think it was May time, must be May time because the silage making it and I'm here, here I am on my tractor and the kids are home off school and um, because of lockdown, they didn't go back for the whole summer. So they walked down the road, uh, round the road, they walked down the fields to me with a picnic lunch and that is, something like that was just beautiful really. I, I'm, I look back at this video, me and my wife just had a quick look at it earlier and uh, it was just lovely to see them just having a memory which they'll always carry I think the time they spent locked down with their dad having a picnic not bad okay it's 12 o'clock and I've just had a phone call from, from Jack saying that uh, they're getting ready to bring my lunch so uh, they're walking all the way down it's quite a long walk actually from the farm down to here um, they're coming down with a rucksack with my lunch I think they're gonna have lunch with me and they're making a little video as they go, so uh, it'll be interesting to see what they do achieve on that. I don't know what, how, what it'll be like. Um, and we'll have a little catch up for lunch, and then they're going to head back, and they might do a bit of filming of the um, mowing, I think. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, something to look forward to. It's nice to have that to look forward to from my point of view. Uh, breaks the day up. Hello! Hello! All right! Oh my god, Harry, what have you got on there? GoPro's on. Is it working, do you think? Yeah. you got water on it. Have you still. Yeah, because when I opened the seal of my water bottle, it all yeah. squirted oh. out. Oh, it was full. What about you, Jay? Are you camcordering? Nope, I'm not camcordering yet. on the way back. Are you? So we yeah. don't know whether we've got any footage on camp Harry's cam or I'll, not. I'll hopefully have some. Hopefully have, but it seems to be pointing up in the area. There's another coat for you, it might be a bit fizzy. It might, I think you might be filming a lot of the air. Let's have a look. Let's just put it down a little bit. Well, we leave it on and we'll yeah. check. Oh, I think I've got two cans now. Yeah, you said you wanted to. Yeah, but I can't drink two at once. <laughs> uh, how, how is your walk down? Did you see anything interesting? 
I saw. Um, we sit under the tree. Look at that pack lunch. Oh wow! Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Have you got a pat lunch? Yeah. Yep. Let's all sit down under the tree. Should we sit down under the tree? A banana. Don't be nasty. Have a patty. Anyway, I have my sandwiches first. I've got radishes as well. Mmm. I'm starving. I always go for the food and get out of the way first. Hmm? I always eat the food and get out of the way first. Do you know how fast he's going? No. 7.8 miles per hour. Yay! That's how fast I was going. He was going about... That's eight? how fast I was going. He was going about eight? eight and a half maybe. Wow, no, he was going about the same as me, so 7.8. <laughs> right, so this is probably the proudest moment of lockdown for me and I kind of look at this video and I just thank all of you who watched my videos for taking part in this. When we did the air ambulance appeal, now, you might remember I grew my, grew my beard and my hair and I did it for a bit of a laugh. I didn't think we'd get anywhere in it. And in the end, I did a head shave, charity head shave and beard shave. And we raised, in total, with all the cash donations and things, over £7,000. And that really shows you what a community you can have through YouTube. There's a lot of negativity about um, internet and about vlogging and stuff. You get people slagging things off on there. But there's also a real positive in the fact that um, you guys all came forward and you donated some money to the Just Giving page I set up. And what an incredible thing that was, £7,000, which we wouldn't have achieved. I wouldn't have done that if it hadn't been for coronavirus. So really, we've got to look ourselves lucky that we can do some positive things there. Anyway, here we go. Whoa, well, this is going to be an unexpected treat. Um, as you know, I'm raising money for the Great Western Air Ambulance with the beard, hair, eyebrow shave off uh, on July the 4th. Anyway, um, I've been sort of emailing or having correspondence with the chap from the Air Ambulance. And he, he emailed me the other day and said uh, they've got a training exercise to do because they have to do so many, so many training hours. Uh, to you know make sure they can do everything right um, so they can actually go over the farm during this training exercise so uh, we thought that we'd give them a welcome and I've spoken to the neighbors and uh, obviously the wife and kids and our plan is we're going to put some straw bales out in a heart shape
my oh. god, what are you doing? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Gonna hopefully let's hope the battery doesn't Just go like flat. Shave this off. It's probably about I'll half past ten. I'm not sure whether I might do a bit of live Don't streaming worry, and I'll, I'll do video the eyebrows, it as well. Right, I'll do the eyebrows so like there'll be purple hair and um which else? Yellow hair on the floor. And then it'll be if a it bit is of live it'll be half ten, here. but I um oh, I might do a bit of you're both. Gonna have, um, oh my goodness. You're gonna have some rainbow skin. Okay, there. so it's kick off time. Harry, have you got anything to say? What are you doing? <laughs> Are you giving it a brush? What about a comb? Hmm? Oh, that's a colouring. Oh, ow! That's a bit manky, actually. critical care doctors with Great Western Air Ambulance Charity. I just want to say a massive thank you to Rich the Funky Farmer and his funky friends, family and supporters for raising so much money for us over this difficult time. Thanks for making us smile and showing us your big heart too. Good looking forward to seeing you when you can visit us after all this is uh, over and we're having visitors at the base again. Thanks. So one of the other things we did on the farm was we, uh, I'm, I'm, you're probably highlighting on, you know, it's a highlight on this video, I'm not just focusing, I'm not really focusing on the day-to-day -day stuff like the uh, silage making or something like that. It's a bit of the unusual. And one of them was the fact that we, we've got, now got some bees on the farm. And this is where uh, John um, set up a little catch thing where you catch bees, I can't remember what they're called. He made it during lockdown and then he put it on the trees and we got, We've got bees on the farm in a hive now, so we'll be looking to make some honey next year, which is exciting. Hey. Hello, mate. Yeah, I got. Yeah, I got a bit of a shock for you, mate. Guess what I'm going to tell you? You got bees in your box. Yeah, straight up. The one in the what we call the top orchard, the one down below the house. I stood down by it. I'm stood down by it now. You won't believe it, right? So my mum was having lunch with me earlier, and she said. How long have the bees been in the bee box? And I went, what? And I thought, 
I don't believe it. And I've just been down to have a look and they're coming and going out of it now like they've lived there for a while. I know. So you... Come and... Have you? You'll have to come and have a look. We're, we'll have to try and set up a little site for it. It's no good put plonk them in there, moving them until we've got a place to put it. I've got the place. We just need to sort of put some fence around and stop the cattle getting in it. Honestly, I'll... I'll yeah, that's fine. I'm in, I'm in all tonight. I um. Yeah, it's exciting, isn't it? I, I'll take some photographs. I, I've just I'm stood by and I'm worried about getting stung. I'll take some photographs of it. Just the entrance, just showing a few bees going in and out. But they're there, mate. It's awesome. What a result, isn't it? Hey, eh? fantastic. I'll see you in a bit. All right. All right. Cheers, mate. Bye. There you go. We'll have a look. John's coming down in a bit. We'll have a look when he gets here. In the meantime, he's quite pleased. Bee tastic. What are we going to call them? Bees. Are there, how many are in there? I wonder. Look at them. Funky farmer bees. John, you just turned up. What do you think? The proud parent. The proud parent of some bees. Are we going to have a look? <laughs> Let's go have a look. Let's go have a look. Right then. Are you ready to see your children, John? Hey. Apprehensive. What are you going to call them all? Uh, name awesome. them. All. <laughs> name them all. How many do you reckon there will be in a, oh, in a box? What's in the swarm? Thousands? Two thousand? Yeah, depends on the size of it. Could be a couple of thousand to start off with. Right, here we go. Look, you can oh, see them buzzing yeah. in there, look. They're straight in on it, aren't they? I've got a zoom on here, so it's not too bad. Oh, wow, there's a lot of them, isn't there? Look at that. Look, they're really active now. When I came down here at Crikey, there's loads now. There's a wasp just gone in. There's a wasp hanging out. Yeah, you'll see them off. Look, of course, towards the end of the year, um, we actually reseeded one of our fields, um, which is unusual for us. We don't normally reseed our grass fields. So this is a bit of a quick cultivation video, just showing you what we did to it. Um, we've got grass growing up there now, which we'll be looking at next spring. Um, there's also a little video here of, of Jack helping put a, a scarecrow up. We've got a bit of a laugh, there's a scarecrow. He seems to think it looked like Jeremy Corbyn. I don't even think he really knows who Jeremy Corbyn is. Oh, grandfather clock's chiming, time to go. see it on the camera let's have a look let's just and adjust that oh right. by the way if it, I'm a bit late on the news but if any of you have seen it Tom Pemberton the other well the biggest famous youtuber on farming has got engaged how fantastic news is that anyway that's beside the point I'm gonna be whacking this in now Jack's holding let's try not to hit him on the head you probably will know you yeah. right you ready hold it tight yeah That's a good lad, that's a good lad. That's good enough, Dad. Oh, I'll stop that's, now. That's good enough, yeah. Yeah, I think I've just broken that bit. Yeah, you break everything. His arm's so. broken. Oh my God, look at Oh, that. you... That'll be all right. He'll be all right. Watch it fall half. When we, when we drive off, it falls half and half. Let's face it, he's a bit deformed. 
<laughs> like your brain well, there. Were held, held them on, but they've already broken, I think. This is Jeremy Corbyn, like in real life. Jeremy Corbyn doesn't look quite like this. He does. You reckon? Yeah. Do you know who Jeremy Corbyn is? Yeah. Actually. Oh, who is he? Uh, I don't know, coronavirus king. What? I don't know. I'm oh, sorry, my children aren't really into politics, and neither am I. I am. But we all know Jeremy Corbyn, okay. and uh, I'd say he be, wouldn't be most impressed to look like that. I need to come back one day with a screwdriver. Maybe that's good enough. I think he deserves to look like that. Do you think he does? Yeah. Okay. You deserve to look trash right now. Right, let's go back then. That's done. That's enough to... That, you look just like the scarecrow. I told you you did. Same height. <laughs> Same height. If you, one day you will be that tall. One That's day. enough to scare off any birds, don't you think? One day you'll be the size of me. Do you think that'll scare off any birds? I think it will. It'll scare you. That, that rugby top used to scare off the birds 30 years ago. I know that. Anna's <laughs> <laughs> So another video here that I'd forgotten about and is really nice to look back on is a video, um, two videos I did actually, uh, which I included in photographs which were taken by a professional photographer called Will who spent the day with me in September. Um, he did a brilliant job. There's just a little highlight of a few bits of the photographs but go on and look at the other videos on my YouTube channel because they're really good, some nice pictures there of me milking cows, getting the cows in, driving tractors and everything. This is a little bit of the video. So Will's photographing me and the cows and things. He's been down with me to get the cows in. Fair play. He's been here since, well, since I started. Um, you'll see some of the pictures. I'm going to put the pictures in this video as we go through. Um, but he's quite good. He's doing fly on the wall, which is kind of nice because I, you know, rather than me posing for pictures, he said he didn't want that. He wanted pictures that were um, real and me having a coffee and stuff. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be dropping in pictures as we go through the day. Uh, let's have a look, see if I can spot him. Where is he? Look at him. There he is. So so yeah. So I'm carrying on through the day. We'll we'll be interested to see what turns up, what photographs he achieves because uh, a very different experience doing photography than video. Um, I've done a bit of photography myself, as you might know I had the book published 10 years ago, a year on a dairy farm, uh, but uh, that took me a year to do, he's doing it all in one day, so life of a funky farmer in 24 hours or, or less. Right, anyway, I'm going to crack on, we'll catch up with more pictures in a minute. OK, 
Okay, so who can really forget my stupidity? Everyone knows I do a little bit of silly stuff on my videos. Um, my day-to-day -day life is pretty serious, to be honest. I spend a lot of time doing very serious stuff, and I do blow off steam on my videos. Uh, so here's one me, well, someone dressed up as supermodels on the farm. And there's another one as well, where I'm having a quick drink of gin. I was given some bottles of gin from the Chew Valley, uh, uh, Chew Valley um, Gin Company, and they, um, well, I had milk and alcohol, didn't I? A bit of singing. You know my singing's bad, but it is to me more bad singing. Um, and I know some people will be saying, get a new body suit, get a new body suit, and I just haven't got round to it until I finally did. Someone sent me a new one a couple of weeks ago, and do you know what? It was so lovely to wear something actually that was new and not rags I thought I better sort myself out but here it is this lovely chunky bad boy look at that I'm tired of sniffing again people <laughs> I do like the smell of a new tire I don't know why how weird is that oh anyway uh, <laughs> um, anyway I was gonna say I this tire um, arrived in a box from off of eBay. I wonder what it would be like if you had a catwalk with the models um, sort of showing off the new boiler suits. Okay, first on the catwalk we have Veronica. Veronica is 29 and from Sweden. She will be modeling the latest in blue designer boiler suits. And as you can see, she's a lovely girl. She's got the figures to match that designer boiler suit. She'll be talking to us in a minute. I'm from Sweden. I like Swedish things. I like meatballs. And I drive a Volvo. And I like ABBA. It's lovely. It's lovely being in your country. If you try on the blue boiler suits, they are very sexy. You think I'm sexy in my blue boiler suit. Yes. Following on from her, she, we also have uh, Tracy from Cumbria. Tracy from Cumbria is 29. She works with puppy dogs on a puppy farm. And she is modeling our latest in green voices. Hey. Very desirable looking voice in there. Last but not least, we have Stephen. Stephen is a steel worker from uh, uh, Wales. He's there modeling our grey boiler suit, looking good there, very attractive man there, I think you say handsome in that grey designer outfit. So there you go ladies and gentlemen, that is our catwalk model showing off the boiler suits. Right, first drop of gin with the milk in. This should make the milk in fly. Don't operate uh, machinery with alcohol, but I think I'll be okay in the milk in parlor. Right, let's just have a glass of this and see how we go. This is the handcrafted dry London, London dry gin. Let's have a look. Oh, it's got a proper cork in it, I think. Ooh. Smells nice. Got me on milk and alcohol. Ooh. Mmm. Ooh. Taste it. As Harry would say. Ooh. Oh, that warms the cockle to your heart. Right. Let's crack on with the milk in. Got me on milk and two valley gin. 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 Right, so I'm just finishing up with this video. This is um, just uh, something that's just taken off now, really. The uh, Bail Off Challenge. Um, 
Um, and you'll see, and it's, it's explained in the video, but basically Tom Pemberton had to do a bail off, which I challenged him to. This has gone around, uh, well, certainly gone over to Ireland. I'm not sure where it's going, where they go around the rest of the world. People challenging each other to see how quick they can uh, take the skin off three bales. Uh, I'm a bit slow, to be honest. Um, anyway, this is a, a video to enjoy and uh, see how quick or slow I move. Okay, so this is a video for Tom Pemberton. Some of you might see Tom, follow Tom on his uh, YouTube channel. Go and, uh, go and have a look what he does. Anyway, me and Tom, we have a bit of a chat every now and then, but this time it's something a bit different. So I'm challenging Tom to a bail off. And the reason behind this, I'm gonna challenge his dad to a bail off as well. The reason behind this is a couple of weeks ago, I did a video of me opening the silage clamp. Anyway, here's a little clip of me opening the silage clamp with my knife. Now, Tom's dad had seen this video, and in their video, they commented about my bluntness and my knife. Look at this. We love a big reveal. So I'm going to look. Shall I start cutting? You start cutting, and I'll start pulling. I'll try and cut similar to um, the Funky Farmer. Don't oh. know what I mean now. So you see so, him cut the other day. So dad, dad, dad's been watching Richard. He opened his clamp the other day. Oh. And dad, dad was like, he needs to sharpen his knife. So Richard, um, we, get, we get along with Richard. Well, I'd like to think we get along with Richard. Do you want to fold that green bit up a little bit? Yeah, yeah. We'll go a bit higher than that. Right, let's see. Let's see if your knife will work. Do you want my pen knife? Yeah, I hear you. Are you sure you don't want to swap? Yeah, look at that, Richard. <laughs> Fuck you, farmer. He's calling you. So I thought, do you know what? I'm going to get this knife sharpened, and I'm going to challenge them to a bail off. One down. One down. <laughs> Get away. Fresh bail. 30 seconds. Oh my god. Two down. Come on. Bail off. Bail off. Come on. 40 seconds. Come on down. Down, down. This is harder than it looks. 50 seconds! 50 seconds! Oh come on, come on! Bail off! Done! 50 hey! Seconds. 50 seconds, show you the camera. Oh! That is good! Tom Pemberton, Ginger Warrior, you have got the beat. 50 seconds on the bail off. The challenge is on. Go! Actually, it's 53 seconds. 53 seconds, seconds. seconds. bail off. <sighs> good luck! Bad luck. Right. <laughs> I'm out of breath. How do you think I did? Did I do all right? Yeah. Now it's my turn. Bail off. Look at that. How did you think? Rate that. Zero out of ten. Do you? How do you think they're gonna do? I I rate you they, an eight out of ten. I don't know. I think they should do three each if they can afford three bales each. So there we go. So there are some highlights or lowlights of 2020. Um, I, I haven't included a fraction of what I videoed actually, but uh, I hope you can sit back and enjoy that for a little bit of time with a cup of tea or a beer or something like that anyway. Uh, let's hope that 2021 brings all of us a much better time and we can do some videos that are really positive. Uh, we will be making some honey, I can't believe that. Let's have some honey, some funky farmer honey. And let's hope that we can all do something good together. Anyway. Stay safe, everyone. 2021's coming. It's going to be a better year. See you soon.